Hello, my name is Lindsay and I'm the Youth Librarian at the Headquarters Branch of the St. Louis County Library. And I'm back again to show you another quick science experiment that you can do at home with some simple materials. So today we're going to make some fizzy exploding hearts. So this project does get a little bit messy. So you will need either a tray to put your art on or you can cover your table and newspaper or something. You will need some vinegar. I poured mine into two different cups here. I'm gonna use two different colors for my hearts. Whatever colors you wanna use for your hearts, I'm gonna use blue and red. You can probably guess what other color that they might end up making. You'll need some glue. You'll need some paper, thicker paper like cardstock or watercolor paper works best. You'll need a pipette or a dropper. And you'll need some baking soda. So to make our hearts, first we're going to take our glue and we are going to draw with our glue. So you're going to draw whatever kind of picture you want with your glue. Like I said, I'm going to draw some exploding hearts for Valentine's Day. So there. I don't know if you can see very well yet, but I've got some hearts on my paper and I'm going to do a couple of little hearts around the side here. You can do this with whatever kind of picture you want to make. Alright, once you're done with that, next thing you're going to do is you're going to take some baking soda and sprinkle it over where your glue is and kind of make sure you cover that glue. So you shouldn't need to use a whole, whole lot, but make sure all of your glue is nice and covered. And don't worry if you've got a lot of excess here, um, we're gonna kind of scrape it off and you should be able to reuse it as long as you're not using the baking soda for something obviously like food. Probably don't want any spare traces of glue in your food. But you could still use what's left over for like laundry or other things or cleaning. All right, got one more little heart to cover here. All right, when you're done, you can kind of dump the rest of that off. I'm gonna kind of go this way. And you should end up with the baking soda stuck to everywhere that your glue was. So take a look at it, see if you missed any spots. I realize I missed some on my heart on this side, so I'm gonna Take and put just a little bit more on there. All right. Shake it off one more time here. Now that I have everything totally covered. So get all of that excess baking soda off. All right, so now you've got your picture all covered in that baking soda. Next thing we're gonna do is color our vinegar. So you don't need very much liquid food coloring. I'm going to use just a couple of drops of red in this one and a couple of drops of blue in my other one. And then make sure you stir those up well. And then you're simply going to drop this and you won't need a whole lot. You're gonna drop it over your picture you made over the baking soda. And you can see it bubbled up and fizzed. Can you hear that fizzing? So what's happening is that our baking soda and our vinegar are reacting together 
and making a gas called carbon dioxide. This is the same thing when you drink soda pop. It's that same kind of fizz when you open up a can of soda pop. Right. So there, I'll try to turn it so you can see without spilling a whole bunch, but you can see it fizzed up. So now I'm gonna try some red. And again, you can use whatever colors you would like and make whatever kind of picture you would like. You can hear it going again. And can you guess what color I might end up with with my blue and my red? Yeah, of course. I kind of ended up with some purple there. So I'm going to finish this up with some red small hearts around the side. That one fizzed up a lot. And then you're going to want to let that dry. It might take just a little while, um, depending on how much of the vinegar you used. So you might even want some paper towels to kind of mop up a little bit of the excess, but careful that you don't disturb your glue, because if you pull your glue up, you'll pull the color up too. So I'll come back and show you once this is dry, what our final product looks like. Okay, so I've let my picture sit and dry for about an hour or so, and I'm back to show you the final product. So you'll see when you do yours, after it's all dry, it'll leave some of the color around and on your glue. Have fun with this one. Bye.